Is there anything more manly in life than hanging stockings at Christmas time? And if you're a dad, filling those stockings with treats has to rank right up there. Tradition has it that back in the old days, people would come in from the cold, dry their feet, and then warm their stockings by the fire. And then on Christmas Eve, St. Nicholas would come around, fill the stockings with treats. It's a tradition that still takes place even today. Uh-oh. I guess candy bars aren't the best thing to have next to a hot fire like this. Hey, stop her. She's lifting that up. She'll be fine. Dogs love chocolate. Don't they? Hey guys, Robbie Sondag here with a little godly advice for living a more meaningful life. And while the Bible doesn't mention stockings per se, it has several stories of people who certainly got cold feet. You know, that feeling of having once unstoppable courage, and then in the moment it melts away into this feeling of being very timid or insecure. I immediately think of Peter when he denied even knowing Jesus three times. Let's pick that story up in Matthew 26, verses 74 and 75, where it says, Then he got really nervous and swore, I don't know the man. Just then a rooster crowed. Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and cried and cried and cried. Guys, have you ever had great enthusiasm for something worthwhile? And then when the moment of truth came, you kind of lost your zeal or your confidence? I think we all have. Like when you're trying to fit in with the crowd. It's real easy to talk a big game with friends at church on Sunday and then lose your nerve on Monday at work when the water cooler talk becomes not so God-honoring. Or when something inappropriate appears on the TV screen and you just don't have the courage to switch it because, well, it's not that bad. Or maybe you've gotten cold feet about leading the family in prayer or being responsible about what you drink with the guys on poker night. None of these things are beyond God's forgiveness, just as Jesus forgave Peter for denying him. But along with the forgiveness comes the challenge to step up your game and learn from your past. In other words, guys, it's time to dry your feet, strap on your boots, and get down to business by pursuing the worthwhile things in life. And in the meantime, stop playing footsies with the devil. So yes, there is something more manly in life than hanging stockings at Christmas time. It's learning to lean on God through those cold feet moments so that you can tackle the challenge and tell the devil to put a sock in it. Uh-oh! What's the matter? Looks like Daisy left you a little present on the kitchen floor. I knew she shouldn't have eaten that chocolate. Relax, it's not like she's dead or anything. Uh-oh. What's the matter? Um. How late is Dr. Dooley Doo's office open until? Hey, if you'd like a weekly dose of humor, truth, and encouragement, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And make sure to check out this week's bonus video for the best new Christmas idea of the year. And yes, it involves socks. We will see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments. You sit, you curl. How about a deep fried clinky?